Hi everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be a new third eye opening exercise, something that I've been doing for quite some time. Not that I really needed to, but every once in a while when I feel really burned out because I do so many readings in a day and healings and classes and lectures, it's very draining. So sometimes I lose focus just a little bit especially in the night hours and that's my most favorite time because it's when I get to leave my body astral project and be up in the angelic realm rather than being in this very scary third dimension that's full of so much hate and hardships so I do it at nighttime and I sit there and I really just get into it and it really helps I've had a couple of my um, students do this exercise and it's worked wonders so I've done the videos in the past of the third eye opening chants or hums or whatever you'd like to call them and I've looked pretty stupid doing them but who cares because it's for you and I'm going to look even stupider now as I show you this exercise so bear with me but I want you to try this it really will help so you're going to need a candle okay just like any candle really it can be any size but I always use the smaller ones you know just in case I'm not going to be leaving it lit too long and I'll just light it up and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to do this activates the left and the right side of your brain getting your thoughts balanced for you um, in your enlightenment process so it's really wonderful all the way around for the third eye and balancing out the emotional and logical thoughts okay so now that you have your candle lit you're gonna hold it not even a full ruler's length away from your face and you're gonna hold it right in the center I hope you guys can see this okay so you're holding it right in the center like level with your nose the bridge of your nose and you're gonna stare right at the flame but you're going to lift your eyes up above the flame so high that they're almost straining to look up. I hope you can follow this because once you do, you're going to be like, wow. Okay, so you stare, tilt your head just a little bit, and look your gaze up real hard. Look up real hard at the top of the candle flame. You're just staring at the area right in here, okay? And you're going to keep looking and stare real hard you're going to start to see a lot of light play up in here above your eyelids and then you'll start to see like a beam of light coming from your third eye into the candle flame and just continue staring like that keep your eyes focused don't blink keep looking keep looking and you're going to keep straining okay it's a little uncomfortable at first but you'll get used to it and then after maybe five ten minutes of doing so just quickly close your eyes and just sit like that for a minute. You're going to feel really woozy for the first couple minutes. And that's because you just exercised the right and the left side of your brains together and they're not used to working together. It's something new to them. So it gives you that very floaty way of thinking. It may make you feel a little lightheaded at the same time. But it's working and that's the point. And it's going to get you where you need to go as far as developing some more of your spiritual insight and also connecting you to your higher self because your higher self thinks on those levels your higher self combines logical and emotional way of thinking together in order to get you that higher understanding and that higher direction for your path so in order to connect to your higher self do this exercise and get that light going on in both halves of your brain so with that being said i just want to say really quick before i go that this will not activate your DNA for you, but it helps, it really does. It gets your mind going. And if you have had the DNA activation done, whether by me or somebody else, this is a really great way to start getting yourself used to the feelings and the symptoms that you get from the activation because you're gonna feel lightheaded from it and you're gonna feel a little woozy from it because you're not used to it. So you're training yourself to feel used to that feeling. As soon as you connect and you know, hey, this is how what it feels like for my right side and my left side to balance out, then during the day when you're feeling that way, you'll know exactly what's happening. And then you can actually reach inward more and 
apply the knowledge that the higher self is trying to push forth. But that's only if you had the DNA activated. But if you have it, it still helps you get you even closer because your higher self will be able to train you through your third eye in visions or instincts or empathic abilities or whatnot into picking the best path that's meant for you. You might not have that real strong connection with them, but surely you will get some kind of instruction and direction from them once the left and the right side of the brains are working together. You just have to open up and listen. So how does one do that? Okay, well, first of all, that little piece inside of you that is walking down the road and wants to turn left, but you have that little sensation within, mm, maybe I shouldn't go left, maybe I shouldn't go left. That's the higher self. You have to stop and listen, be aware. Constantly listen to what your higher self is telling you. Don't shrug it off and do what you wanna do. That's the ego. The ego will never get you anywhere. So instead of just continuing on doing what you wanna do, stop, think, give yourself time. Don't rush through life. And listen to what the higher self has to say. And I assure you that if you listen to your higher self, you're on your way towards creating that better reality, that better life that's suited just for you. The reason why people are so unhappy in this world is because they're out of touch with their higher self who knows what's best for them because it is you up there that's having this experience through this avatar that we're in. So you have to connect to who you truly are and start walking that path. The government, its leaders, spiritually, politically, they have all made it so that people are believing that they are the ego. They believe that they're this fake image in society and they're not listening to that higher direction any longer. And that's why they feel so detached. They go through life unhappy, they go through life incomplete, and they make terrible mistakes that lead to even more unhappiness in the process. And that's not what I want for you. As an angelic, I love you all so very much, and I want you to break free from the chains of this earthly prison and live in the higher self. That's how you begin to ascend, is by following the advice of your higher self. It won't always be easy, but you have to take the time out and listen, open yourself up. Don't just get up and do something. Relax, breathe, focus, keep yourself in that trance-like state. And then when you have an idea to do something, say something, or feel something, wait and see if the higher self resonates with it too. If it doesn't, it will let you know by that gut instinct. So follow the gut instinct instead. So if you want to get in touch with your higher self, if your DNA is not activated and you need a little bit more assistance, try the exercise. Try it. It'll help both sides of your brain work together after some time. It's not going to work the first time. I'm telling you that straight up. It will work after some time, though. Continue doing it. Do it every night for a couple minutes, maybe for a week or two. And I promise you're going to start to feel changes in the way that you think about things. And that's exactly what's going to lead you to where you want to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for looking silly, but I need to give this advice to you. You need the guidance. I know many of you want to grow, and I want to be the one that helps you get there. So namaste, and I'll see you guys next time.